You know, as always, we've got our buddy, Buddy, who's got a little something for you. Here's Buddy. Here's another thing that I've had since I've been down there. They do this with shrimp, and I've also had shrimp and octopus cooked this way. This is basically the start of an enchilada sauce or the start of, a, of your tamales. This is the peppers are all cooked down. It's cooked with some garlic in it. And it's been run through the food processor and strained out a little. So it makes a really rich sauce. So I can't help but think that adding a squid to here gonna be the, anything short of just fantastic. Now this squid, I took it and I cut it up into uh, strips. So it kind of resembled giant clams or something. I don't know exactly what you can describe it as looking like other than uh, maybe a noodle or something. You don't want to overcook it. You gotta just get it warm here and set it back while I just grill the other and fry this other piece. Set that there and let it just marinate flavor. But to get the real squid experience, I think it needs to be just pan fried with some seasoning. And just a little bit more olive oil to the pan. Before this thing all curls up, this is a combination of high mountain trail dust and Bayou Bass. Put that on there. Well, you can see this thing's got a mind of its own and it's still pretty wild. Curl up the wrong way. Make a little bit of seed. I want to thank the executive chef down here at El Cid for assisting me with all this. I've been a very good friend over the years and a compadre when it comes to eating. So get on down here to Mazalon, Mexico. I know you'll enjoy their food. You never know if you might see this on a dinner plate one day too.